silanganan, alam ng krus, sa dito mo'y buhay, lupang hinirang. Hello and welcome to Halasha Ayasan Foundation Family Farm School. Through this short video, we wish to give you a feel of what the family farm school life is all about. So just sit back and enjoy the journey of GIYF FFS Rural Fishing, Farming and Indigenous Communities of Oriental Mindoro, Philippines. <laughs> Let's get to know the Halasha Ayasan Foundation Family Farm School a little bit better. The Halasha Ayasan Foundation Family Farm School, or GIYF FFS, is a private, non-profit, alternative secondary school located in San Mariano, Rojas, Oriental Mindoro, Philippines. Its main objectives are to alleviate poverty and promote sustainable community development through an education system rooted in integral youth formation or alternancia, sustainable agriculture or environmental education, community organizing or enterprise development, and natural health. In late 2009, a socioeconomic survey was conducted by GIYF FFS aiming to gain a better understanding and paint a clear picture of the families it is serving. Through this survey, the school discovered that the average monthly household income is 4,660 pesos or 100 US dollars for an average family size of 7. That works out to be around 120 pesos or 3 US dollars each day. 41% of families live out without electricity. 49% don't have access to running water in their home. And 37% are squatting. These families have to pursue small-scale family farming on small plots of land with very limited resources and funds in order to feed themselves and the community. GIYF FFS offers a helping hand on many levels, but most importantly, provides them with a platform to initiate change and a brighter future. into the different aspects of GIYF FFS formation. Integral Youth Formation or Alternantia GIYF FFS has a three-week alternating cycle system in place. Students live at the school for two weeks and then return to their families for one week. A school year is made up of 14 of these cycles. During the two-week school stay, one week is focused on academic and one week is focused on sustainable farming practice. Sa bahay, ma'am, ma nakakatulong ka sa pamilya, ma'am, nakakapag-tanip ka ng mga gulay. But sa first week, ma'am, yung natutunan mo mga academics na subject. At sa second week, nakakatulong ka sa paggawa ng mga uh, pag-agarding dito sa paaralan. Sustainable Agriculture and Environmental Education the Environmental Education Center aims to increase awareness of both local and global environmental concerns, therefore encouraging students to pursue sustainable agriculture and enterprise development. The school farm is a training ground for students and community members. When local farmers see the success of organic farming at the school farm, they feel inspired to try it on their own farm. Trainings, workshops, and exposure days are opportunities for local farmers to gain skills, knowledge, and inspiration regarding sustainable and organic agriculture. Kung sa akin lang, kung ako lang talaga ang tanong, eh, ay napakaganda na. Eh, marami akong natipid, maliban sa natipid, 
Eh, uh, ang pagod dahil trabaho so nga at sa damo. Then, ang kuan ko lang, eh, at least mabawas-bawasan natin yung mga pesticide na pumapasok sa ating katawan. Kasi pag nakaani ako dyan, gagawin namin pagkain na yan, stock na pagkain. At sigurado ko na walang kuan sa katawan natin ang chemical na Community Organizing and Enterprise Development Part of the values that the GIYF FFS wishes to imbibe in its students is an entrepreneurial spirit that seeks livelihood opportunities by considering the needs and potentials of the family and community and assessing how to creatively respond to those needs through the Family Enterprise Project. The FEP is born from a collective effort in which students on their third and fourth year of formation with the support of their families and tutors, are expected to select and implement a particular project that would not only be sustainable and feasible in their local communities, but also open opportunities for greater financial support for the families. I bought it last June. I bought it for two pesos. Tapos buntis po, buntis po yung kambi, na, 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 na pinababahan po, na buntis, so nangyan ako ng dalawa. Then after 6 months operation, nagkaroon po ng dalawa kami yun. Yung dalawa po na anak niya, pinabinta. So, buntan. So, katapos po nun, pina, after 2 two, two, two weeks, pinababahan ulit po. So, so ngayon buntis na ulit po. So, paanakin nga yung kami mismo. Natural Health the Natural Health Program, which promotes the consumption of fresh and organic vegetables and discourages harmful chemicals and additives such as MSG, goes hand-in-hand -hand with the Sustainable and Organic Agriculture Program. Grow natural food and eat healthily is the message being sent to the students, families, and community through information and training sessions health counseling, and developing health-friendly enterprise projects. Ano po, may malakas na sigla sila, tsaka madalang nga rin po magkasakit. Tsaka ano po, hindi po kami masyadong gumagamit ng mga ano, mga tablitas. Hindi po, tulad niya mga anak ko, pag inuubo po talaga, may oregano kami, yun lang po ang inaano ko. Oo. Pero pag mga tablitas, yun nga lang, pag may lagnat talaga. Ayan, pinapainom ko. Pero sa ubo po ay ano eh, halos yun ang oregano. Hindi nga po ako nagpapawala noon. GIYF FFS is a small grassroots NGO with relatively very low running costs, yet is producing big results for the community it serves. If you wish to support our cause, you may visit our website at www.yasonffs.com to view different donation options, including funding family enterprise projects or sponsoring a student for a year. You may also view the different options there for volunteer service. You can never imagine how many kids and families you will make happy just with a single decision to give back.